welcome back guys so today I wanted to do a very kind of natural holiday glam I wanted to do a look where you guys can take this eye look and basically match it to any other makeup so you can do a very holiday red lip or even like a really dark rich deep lip or add a little bit of glitter to the inner corner or underneath whatever you want but this is kind of the base makeup and you can build on it or you could just wear it as is, of course, as a very kind of natural holiday glam look. <laughs> so that is the look that I'm going for. Also, I wanted to let you guys know the two winners of last video for the MAC Shade Sense. Here they are, congratulations. I have another huge giveaway for my next video. And you guys know, if you've been watching my last few videos, this month has all been about giveaways and we're so close to reaching almost 500,000 subs. And if we do, there's gonna be a massive $1,000 makeup giveaway. So make sure you subscribe. All right guys, let's get into this natural holiday glam look. Time to glam. I'm gonna do a full talk through with you guys today. No voiceover because I'm getting ready to go out and I kind of want to get ready with you guys. First up, a little bit of MAC Fix Plus. I like this just to kind of refresh my skin. Just to let you guys know, before I did this, because I've been feeling sick, and you guys know when I feel sick, the first thing that I feel a difference is, is, is in my skin. I did a full mask, I applied an essence, I did toner and moisturizer. Those things really make a difference before you even go to apply makeup. Like my skin was feeling terrible, but now it feels really nice. So that's gonna make a huge difference. A little bit of lip conditioner before we start anything that really helps so by the time you go do your lips your lips feel nice and moist I always use a primer I don't necessarily show it in my videos but I always always use a primer and when I worked on set I never not use the use primer on a model because it makes the makeup last so much longer so a night out I will definitely use a primer because I want the makeup to really last a new primer that I discovered recently that is really good is this one from the abnormal beauty company i don't know if you guys have heard of this brand or not but it's really cool this one's called hyalamide matte 12 12 hour visible oil blocker and pore vanisher i definitely see a difference when i apply this so this is really good for minimizing your pores and if you tend to get really oily in the t-zone it blocks the oil so it doesn't break down your foundation and then your makeup will last longer as well. Big difference. This is a really good product. I'll link everything for you guys below, of course, as always. I'm gonna start with skin today because why not? Well, it's because we're not doing an intense eye look, that's why. <laughs> I told you guys in my last video that I am using the Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation 15 hour wear hydrating foundation i am testing this foundation out though what i will tell you guys is that it is very hydrating i wore it for a full day the other day and the one thing i really noticed was you know how like when you wear makeup all day you get that feeling where you just like can't wait to take it off i was wearing it for i don't know a good five six hours and then all of a sudden I was like, whoa, I told, I like saw a glance of myself in the mirror and I was like, oh my God, I have makeup on. I completely forgot I had makeup on because that's how light this foundation is. Usually when I wear the Makeup Forever HD, which you guys know I love and I'm obsessed with, um, I definitely get moments where I'm like, oh, I feel it on my skin and I'm ready to take it off. But when I wore this, I did not feel that at all. So... I think that has to do with the fact that it is a lighter foundation and but also it's not as heavy coverage as the Makeup Forever HD so I think it really depends on what your needs are and what you're looking for. This is a really good everyday foundation for sure. Maybe for a night out you want a bit more coverage so you would do something more like the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. I'm just gonna blend, 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 blend everything out with my beauty blender and in case you guys are wondering this the color that I'm using is 2.3 and it's pretty much my exact match this is a great color for me I'm using 
the NARS concealer that I've been totally loving. You guys know I've been like using it in every video. I'm going in with probably one of my favorite products for contouring right now. It is the NYX Sculpt and Highlight. So it has the two colors, the contour and the highlight. I personally never use the highlight color, but I really like the contour color. Number four, Cinnamon. I just apply these little dots. This might look familiar if you watched a boyfriend voiceover video. Coachella 2017 vibes. <laughs> oh my god, that's probably one of my favorite videos of the year. Um, so I apply these little dots and then I blend it out with a nice kind of synthetic brush, which is really good for liquid products. And it just blends out really nicely. Definitely notice a big difference when you contour and highlight, especially in pictures. So it's not something you need to do every day, obviously, but if you don't do it as opposed to when you do, you definitely will see a difference in just the overall look of your makeup. This is definitely what I've been using the most recently, the It Cosmetics Brow Pound. Brow Power Universal Brow Pencil. So I think the reason they call this the Universal Brow Pencil because it is a color that is pretty universal and will work on anyone. Um, and I just find that, I don't know, it just works great every time I use it. This is for sure one of my favorite eyebrow pencils to use. If you guys haven't seen it, I did a... Um, full tutorial on how to fill in your brows, how to groom your brows. I'm gonna link it for you guys just in that top corner so you guys can go check it out. I'm gonna be using the BH Cosmetics Modern Neutrals Color Eyeshadow Palette. I really love this palette because it has so many matte shadows and I love my bronzy moments, so don't get me wrong, I love a little glitter but I definitely love my mattes. So before anything, I'm gonna do a little bit of the NYX eyeshadow base, just all over my lid. You could apply this with your hand, with your fingers, or with a brush, whatever you want. <clears throat> I kinda like to apply with a brush and then blend out with my finger, just to make sure it's super blended. I'm gonna start with the lightest color from the palette and sweep that all over my lid. All right, time to glam. I'm gonna do a full talk through with you guys today. No voiceover because I'm getting ready to go out and I kinda wanna get ready with you guys. This is actually going to be a super easy, easy eye. This is like, if you guys want one go-to look to master, to know how to do it with kind of with your eyes closed, this for sure is one of them because you can do this eye look with really any other makeup. I definitely recommend practicing this look. Yeah, then you could use it all the time. Okay, <laughs> I feel like my head is so spacey right now. I honestly like, I could barely hear myself because my ears are plugged and I feel like I'm underwater. So if my energy is off, if I seem a little off, that's what it is, guys. It's nothing else other than the fact that I am sick. Sick, sick, sick. But of course I decided still to shoot a video today. Okay, I love warm neutral colors in the crease. So I'm gonna do a mix of these two colors, which are perfect for the crease. I felt my voice just go up like in a really weird way right there. <laughs> Crease. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, it is one of those days. Oh, actually, I kind of wanted to talk about this. So I'm using one of my mint brushes. If you guys remember when 
I started my channel a while ago. I also started my own line of makeup brushes called Mint Brushes. I've had them ever since and they're amazing. I love them. They're the best brushes that I own. Yes, I'm going to say that because <laughs> it's true. But I decided that I'm no longer going to keep selling them or manufacturing them because it was so much work, guys, and I love doing it. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely love doing it. Um, I built the whole business of the brushes from the bottom up myself. So I found manufacturers, I designed them, I did everything from customer service, fulfillment, shipping, everything, 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 the website, everything. Um, and it was just so much work. You know, I did that. I was a freelance makeup artist full time. I had my YouTube channel. I don't know who I thought I was, but it definitely just got to the point where I wasn't putting the time and energy I needed to make the brushes successful. So this year I decided to um, put a hold. I don't know if it's a hold, a permanent hold or a short term hold, but basically put a hold on the brushes. Um, only time will tell if it will be permanent or not, but that does not mean that I'm not going to produce something else. Okay, I'm going back with that first color again. That's not it at all. I've actually decided that I, I'm going to take everything that I learned about my brush business and use that towards something else, something a new product, I'm not sure what it is yet. It's for sure something I would love to do at some point, but not anytime soon. But just kind of wanted to fill you guys in about that because I know some of you have been asking because the web website is no longer online. So that's what's happening with the brushes. I want like a nice pinky tone, something like this. A really nice, simple pinky shadow that I can just sweep all over and Kind of just give it that tone of pink without it being too much. Dark brown shadows from the palette, probably this one here. I'm not taking this too far in. Kind of want to keep it just in the outer corner and then go back with a nice little small fluffy brush and gently blend that out. I love these BH shadows. I can't get over it. That's all I'm going to do for eyeshadow on the eyes. I'm going to move on to eyeliner and I'm starting with a brown coal liner. I love this one from Wet n Wild. I'm going to start off with the brown first because this is going to really kind of help me figure out the line that I want to do before going in with the black. <laughs> That's a little tip. And all I'm doing is I'm just kind of dragging the pencil along my lash line. Just keeping it as close to my lashes as possible and for the wing I like to kind of just pull the pencil out like this so just kind of drag it and pull it out just like that this is kind of just tracing the line for us so when we go back and do it with the la liquid liner in black we'll know where to go so I'm using the BH Studio Pro and it's just a nice black cream liner. And I'm using like a really thin brush for this. I wanna have quite a bit of control on the thickness of my line. I think that's like one of the things that probably drives me crazy about doing a cat eye is how you can get one perfect and then you go do the other one and that one's too thick and then you gotta go back and make this one thicker and now this one's too thick and you gotta keep going and then all of a sudden your entire eye is one big black line. <laughs> it's so easy for that to happen. So right away I can tell I have way too much product on my brush so I'm gonna take some of that off. That's where it could all go wrong. So just make sure you do this in baby steps. And I find that it's a lot easier to kind of create little small strokes rather than try to draw on one perfect line. Like, that's a lot harder to do. 
So creating these kind of nice little small strokes will get you the line that you want. Having that brown liner already there makes it so much easier because you know exactly where you need to draw the black. For lashes, I'm going to be using some of my go-to, these are the Ardell Demi Wispies. You guys can't see the name, but that's what they are. Um, three people had to die for these. <laughs> some of you might get that joke. <laughs> So the reason I picked these lashes for this look is because I wanted something that was still a bit natural, but um, I really wanted the curve of the short on the inner corner and the long on the outer corner. That's my favorite shape for lashes. It actually makes a huge difference. Um, it'll totally change the shape of your eye depending on the shape of the falsies, so something to keep in mind as well. If you use falsies that are just kind of the same length, all the way across it'll make your eyes look a lot rounder I kind of want my eyes to look more oval for this look which I think looks really pretty when you do a cat eyeliner I'm gonna add a little bit of bronzer just to the whole look I'm using the Mac mineralize skin finish Okay, so this is my favorite part of the look. I feel like we got the base. Now we can really kind of make it a little bit more holiday glam. So first thing is we need a lot of highlighter for sure. And I recently discovered a highlighter. Oh my God, where is it? Hold on, found it. Okay, this is the Josie Moran Argon, Argon Enlightenment Illuminizer. This stuff is awesome, guys. The only downfall about it is that the pump shoots out so much at once and you're kind of stuck with it. It's actually not that, it doesn't look like a lot, but this stuff is so pigmented, that's actually quite a bit. I'm gonna use a liquid first as my base. And I'm using a fan brush because I don't wanna go crazy with it. As much as I want a lot of highlighter, highlighter I also wanna control it to a certain degree. So I'm going in with a little bit more detailed brush because I want to go right in the inner corner. Oh, love that. Now that we look like a holiday Christmas ornament, which is what we were going for, we're gonna go over that highlighter with a powder highlighter. So we have the cream first, and now we're gonna do a little bit of the powder. Optimal highlighting, basically, <laughs> is what we want. If you ever feel like you've gone overboard, then just go over it with a bit of powder. Regular powder. For blush, I'm using NARS Deep Throat. And then for lips, I want like a really nice pinky lip. So I'm starting off with the L'Oreal Lip Matte in, I'm not sure what color this is, but I'm gonna list it for you guys below, but it's a really nice pink. Then I'm gonna go over that with a little bit of this really beautiful kind of pinky lipstick from Sephora. Um, also will list below. And then just a tiny little bit of gloss right in the center of my lip. And this is the Lancome Juicy Tube. I love these things, they're so pretty. And um, yeah, so we're gonna do the mix, a mix of all three.
And there you go guys, that is the final look for this super simple natural holiday glam. I hope you guys love this tutorial, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in another video very soon. Bye!